Hello everyone, my name is William Salisbury. Today we're going to go over DWS files. These are drawing standards files that are used to ensure that standards are being used throughout a collection of drawings. So those not familiar with that particular feature of AutoCAD, um, go to your AutoCAD, whatever year you're currently running, hit the drop down, and they have an applet in there called Batch Standards Checker. We're going to go ahead and click on that. As you can see, it brings up this little this little window right here. From here, you will actually uh, go ahead and create your associations with your drawings and your standards. So, um, in this case, I want to pick a couple of drawings that I want to check. We're kind of doing this in a mixed up way, just to show you where you're going to check and how you're checking. So right now I'm selecting the drawings I want to check to make sure that my standards are being applied. So I'm going to say drawing one, two, and three in my packet. Um, I want to make sure that they have the right layers and um, the right text format, <laughs> the, the right dimensional styles. So we select all those. It gives you a little brief overview of each one in the side panel go to standards. Now um, each drawing can have a check file associated with it within the drawing itself and we'll show you how to do that before we close out the session. Um, or you can select a standard file that you've already created. In this case we haven't created one, but we're going to. So as you can see we have a CAD session open here. We're going to open up a drawing that we have created. Let's see here desktop establish standards okay so in this drawing this is just a blank AutoCAD drawing right we've gone ahead and we've added in some some special layers that are unique that are the standards for our let's say a, a particular client um, we also have in our dimension styles a company standard dimension style company STD And then also in our text styles, we have a company STD. So these 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 company standards that we have, um, we just have it laid out like that. That's showing you that there's something unique in these drawings that we want to make sure each of the other following drawings has. So this is just a regular blank DWG. Um, we've put in the standards for the client. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save this as and when you get to the save as dialog you're going to hit this drop down and it has an option for AutoCAD drawing standards DWS probably haven't noticed it before unless you were actually looking really hard it kind of just fades into the background of all the other formats but we're going to do DWS and we can just call it standards checker dot DWS okay. now we're going to come back to that applet that we started with. So in the batch standards checker, like I said, you can use the one that's already associated with the drawing, or you can pick one that you've made. I like the picking one that you've made. That way you don't have to individually make those um, drawing associations. But to each his own, if there's a lot of different standards, different checker files that you need to have for different um, drawing formats, uh, that might be your preference. So I'm going to go ahead and select that DWS we just made. And that's going to be the standard that the drawings are going to be compared against to. Next, we have the plugins. I believe you have the option to go to the website, to Autodesk, and actually get more plugins or make them yourself. These are the ones that are default with it. So it's going to check the dimensional styles, the layers, the line types and the textiles and this makes sure that all these things are being applied throughout the the drawings i've selected you can type in some notes this will just say um initial run if you're doing this all the time you can say what the purpose of this particular thing is so it's good to have let's go ahead and get back here Okay, progress will show you as you go. Um, once you have this all done, you can save this checking format. So basically what that means is if you wanted to rerun these same drawings, 
with the same standards you've selected. I can come here, hit save, and it creates a CHX, which is a check files. Save that there. And we're about to start the check, so let's go ahead and start it. And this is the output we get. You can see here it, it did each drawing, drawing one, drawing two, drawing three, completed. The output's not too bad. You get a pretty detailed view, so it's, it gives you uh, your username on your network of who, who ran the report, which drawings were run. If there were any problems, it tells you how many were found and if, they, if any of these issues were ignored. You can do setup so that it ignores um, the errors and just points them out to you if you don't want to make the corrections yourself. Okay. As you can see, these are the drawings that were audited, plugins that were used, here are the four. Again, it does give you the option to go to Autodesk website to, to look for more if you wish to. Standards for all drawings, this is where the, the DWS is at that you're using to, to perform the check. Um, standard items, these are all the standards it's reviewing. And here's the problems, the following problems were encountered in this drawing. So uh, drawing one had a whole bunch of uh, architectural engineering uh, dimensional styles that, we don't, that were not uh, company standard. So we're pulling those out. So this is these are the issues that were identified. Okay, and it's pretty much as simple as that. There's a little bit of tweaking you can do. Um, you can also uh, kind of change this report too and show what you want to show. But for the most part, that's pretty much it. It's it's a standard report. You create that DWS. You run over the drawings you want it to run on. After that, it's pretty much just on you. It's a quick way to keep up with standards. Good luck.